Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Animal Crossing Island Tour video. Today we're going to an amazing Zelda Breath of the Wild Island. It's incredible. You're going to have fun. Uh, what I wouldn't do to play Zelda Breath of the Wild for the first time again. What a magical game, just like Animal Crossing. As usual, if you like it, hit the thumbs up. If you really liked it, subscribe and say thank you. <laughs> and as always, please support the creator. Their info will be in the description. Check out this map. This map is gorgeous, but check out this one. Yeah. Breath of the Woodstock. It has all the different villagers here listed on the sides and the proper areas with all the names. So, for example, Rasher is a Bogoblin, and then Cephalobot is actually a Guardian. Renee is Horse, <laughs> as Horse. And of course, guys, the dream address is right there on the screen. So if you want to come along and tour along with me, you can. Uh, what I wouldn't do to play Zelda Breath of the Wild for the first time again. What a magical game, just like Animal Crossing. So the first thing that I want to go to is this maze. Gosh, I remember this maze when I played, I played the Breath of the Wild maybe three times now. I beat it twice and only played halfway through master mode because I'm bad at the game, I guess. Um, but yeah, this right here, you're not allowed to touch the flowers or the lady yells at you. Honestly, I just used uh, Rivali's Gale and flew over it but <laughs> right into the middle. But whatever you guys want to do, we even have the uh, activation pillar, teleport point, whatever it's called, right here, and then the entrance to the shrine. That is so cool. Oh, there's the lady right there. <laughs> and we have the guardians right here. <gasps> what? That's so cool. We have guardians activated ones and non-activated ones. Uh, this seems like it's the, uh, it's called the um, central tower. I think I do recall this tower these are the ones that you climb up and i love the use of the ladders here to show that you can climb up <laughs> that is so creative uh, let's go over here and this it's a stable this is the rito stable and we have the puppy there you know the puppies that are around there and they can be uh really cute uh we have the horses <laughs> look at them we got the apples right there wow this is so cool I love it. Oh, we even got the custom designs there again. So amazing. Um, let's go over here to... This is the Bokoblin... Bokoblin camp? Yep, it is. Even has the skulls on the door here. That's adorable. Get it? <laughs> adorable. Anyway, that's a bad joke. But um, <laughs> I'm just so excited. I don't know if you guys can tell in my voice. Normally, I'm more relaxed on these tours. But I'm like a kid in a candy shop. This is like my, my one of my favorite games of all time ever. And this one is the Forgotten Temple, the Temple of Time, back in the day. And of course, it is the museum, because the museum's an amazing, amazing structure to build with. Um, ooh, what's that over there? We're going to go to that in a second. I want to keep checking this area out. Let's look up here. Oh? Oh? Oh, look at the little wings on the uh, outfits. This has to be, uh, what is it called? The, the Flying Village. Rito Village. There we go. I, I, do, I totally didn't cheat and look at the map. I, did, <laughs> I, I would never cheat. Oh, look at that. You can see right up there. Oh, the outfit is perfect. Oh, I love that. And you can climb up here to another shrine. Oh, and you have the, the snowy mountains in the background. Yeah, remember you have to do that like archery test where you're like flying around. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That's so cool. Let's climb up here, actually. I just get a good look at that. Brilliant use of this part of the island. What? Okay. Let's go down to Rito Village. And if we look up here, we can see you have to scale it to get up here. Wow. And that is a great use of scale <laughs> in both ways. Number one, from the bottom, it looks massive and tall. And uh, you get to scale the cliff and experience it all. That is, oh, that is fun. That is fun. Down here, if we cross here, oh, I'm recognizing those trees. Those exact trees. Oh, man. Don't know the name of them, but they're really cool. This is the Tabantha Great Bridge here. Is it this one? It's the Tabantha Great Bridge. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I know what that is. Oh, my God. Look at the little jelly slimes. Oh, my gosh. With the... <laughs> look at the eyes. <laughs> look at that. Oh, my goodness. I love that. And then you have, like, the blue moss there that actually looks like the slimes themselves. Oh. Wait, where are we headed now? 
Gerudo Valley or Gerudo uh, Village or wh whatever it was called. I'm thinking Ocarina of Time, maybe. Oh, wow. This is on the beach. What a great use of the beach. You know, I, I would have expected just to have a whole area with sand on the ground, but you know, the beaches already have sand and it's perfect. This is so cool. We have the two guards out front and uh, I'm already, believe it or not, dressed like a princess. My outfit, <laughs> unknowingly to me, I thought it was like Inuyasha, but I'm actually wearing a uh, shrine maiden outfit. So I'm already dressed up like a woman. So you know what? I can go in, woman only, let's go. <laughs> You know what? It, it works. That works perfectly. This is so cool. This is the this is the throne room and it is oh, that's the that's the little helmet you need that draws the lightning away when you go to the divine beast. Oh, that's so I'm so excited. Oh my god. I don't know what sound that was. <clears throat> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. We're going to be back to calm chase. Um that is so cool. We are here, right at, well, this is the start. So if you were to actually visit yourself, this is where you would come in. And they have this area, and this is the jungle, Lake Floria. Oh, that is, that is cool. Oh my goodness. And the best part about it is that after playing the game, every single area is very obvious what it is. Now, some islands that do, I guess, uh, not covers, but islands with specific themes based on like pop culture or something of the sort, some places can be quite ambiguous, but this is just so obvious what it is with all the waterfalls, right? The sounds, the waterfalls, the windmill up there. Oh yeah. And then I guess that little gyroid right there would definitely be a, um, Definitely be a Korok. I forgot the name for one second, but there we go. Yeah, Korok. And a uh, fun fact, when you get those little golden things from Koroks, they're actually poop. No, I'm serious. They're, they're little poops. <laughs> and the reward for catching all of them, like collecting all 900, you just get a bigger poop. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, this is... um. Oh, what is this? I don't know. I'm guessing it's just another like enemy camp. That would make sense. Yep. And then we go over... Ooh, what's up here? Oh, is this supposed to be something? Because I don't recognize it. Hmm. That's gorgeous. Okay, this is going back this way. This looks like we are back. Wow. I know this exact spot. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Yeah, where they're all, like, sleeping and then you go through, like, the ruins of the castle. Yep. There's like an NPC on the other side right here, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it is. Oh, and there we go. Right there, the Sheikah Eye. The Lens of Truth or the Eye of Truth. I forget what it was from Ocarina of Time, but that is Sheikah. And this is... Wait, look at the cuckoos and, and the little apple thing. I think this is um Kakariko Village, right? Yeah, it has to be because of the cuckoos. Yeah, and this, this guy right here. And that would mean there's like a little uh, shrine thing right here. Yes, there is. Oh, yeah, and then you have to go up here, and you would go inside, and there's, um, I wonder if it's decorated. You know what? Let's check that out. Oh, my goodness. It is decorated perfectly. Oh, my goodness. Are all the villager houses decorated, too? <gasps> That's incredible. And the music? I will say, the music kind of reminds me of Zora's domain a little bit. You know what I mean? That is so cool. But I, I, this is so vivid. I, I know exactly where we are. And this looks like one of the puzzles for the Korok seed again. Oh, that is, that is awesome. That must mean there's like a fairy fountain up here. Cause I remember when you climb up the cliff, the original game, th there it is. Oh, it all just flows. So, oh, we even have the fairies there. Now I gotta say, that is very cool. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so cool. Okay, um, I think where we should go next, um, hmm. I think we go down a little bit, finish this bottom area, and then we'll go to the top. Hey, listen, <laughs> this is Tiny Chase here, letting you know to subscribe if you have watched this far and you enjoy it. 
I really appreciate it. And uh, it helps motivate me to make more videos. I really appreciate every single one of you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to the video. Okay, we go through here. We're still in Kakariko Village. Oh, I remember all of this. This is so well done. And we come up here to... Huh. I don't seem to recognize where we are now. At least I'm trying to figure out, like, if there's a hint. Okay, we're, we're on a beach now. Ooh, let's go inside here. Maybe this will give us a little hint. Oh, it's an archery game. The archery game was in a town. Um, what town was it in? Okay, I looked at the map, and this is Lurlin Village. For some reason, that doesn't ring a bell. Huh. I'm gonna have to look it up. Let me go, you know what? Let me go look it up. Oh, it's that coastal one. I know exactly where this is. Okay. Oh, it makes so much sense now. Okay. Sometimes you just need a little bit of a refresher. <laughs> um, there's the clothing shop here with the Able Sisters, of course. So that would make the area up here, Hateno Village. Which I'm trying to picture right now. But I'm just not. So I guess, is this the shrine here that um you can trade health for stamina? That would make it Hateno Village. I think so. We got the archery here. Okay, I think I see it. I think I see it. Um... Maybe I'm just not too caught up in the lore. And also, they're so strapped for space. And the fact that they've taken this little space that they have and made something so remarkable. I'm a huge fan. I'm such a fan of this creator right now. Let us just go... Wait, what's that blue in the background? Oh my goodness. I, how did I not notice this? It's the Zora Domain. Oh, look at the bubbles! <laughs> look at the little bubbles! And the cascading waterfalls, creating such good depth here. Oh, wow. I love the use of the bubble machines here. <laughs> this is amazing. Amazing, amazing job. Wow. Oh, look at the pattern on the floor too. It just is perfect. Absolutely incredible. Okay. Um, yeah, now let's go back over here and I want to cross over here and we see some dead trees. Well, it's obviously like the forest. Is it the lost forest? Lost woods? No. Wait, what's here? Oh, wait a second. I know this. This is like, uh, you get like a buff here. Um, on the map, Spring of Power. There we go. Yes, I remember. This was quite hidden, though, normally. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, my goodness. I recognize it because of the pipes here. This is the, the, the lab where you get um, the upgraded... Um, what is it? You get, like, that really cool guardian armor. We fight guardians better. Like the windmill over there at the side. I remember you have to climb up and there was some like treasure there. Oh, that is it. That's what it is. Brilliant use of space. Yeah, and all the like done guardians here. Dead, uh, dormant, I guess. Okay. That's incredible. Let's go over here. Leaves on the ground. Death Mountain. Death Mountain! Oh, that's what this is! Oh, and look at that! Look at- look, over here, you can see the confetti and the fire blowing up there to make it look like there's more fire. And the burning leaves. Oh, that is- that is the most creative use I've ever seen. You can see the minecarts back there. Yeah. Oh, we have the minecarts and everything! Oh! And you still have access to the secret beach right down here. So if you do do actually need to use your island, you still can. Perfect. That is incredible. Okay, let's 
Um, okay, I want to go back to the start. All right, we're back here at Resident Services, but I don't want to tour here during the day. We got to change that. Oh, wow. <clears throat> what happened there? I, I snapped my fingers and I just... <laughs> I was sleeping. Oh, I must have slept through the day and woke up at night. Uh, I totally don't do that in real life or, <laughs> or anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I would never. Okay, um, <clears throat> wow. So, I guess it's, uh, time to go through the Lost Woods, huh? <laughs> wow. This is way better at night than during the day. If I went through here during the day, it would not have been nearly as cool. Some of these more gloomy spots are definitely way better at night. And I see Hyrule Castle over there, but don't look there yet. Don't look. <laughs> um, yeah. Is that the Master? That's the Master Sword! Where you would normally pull it up. Uh... I don't have enough hearts for it. And, uh, <laughs> wow. This is Korok Forest. You can see the Koroks in the background. That's so cute. We have, ooh, the house here. Let's go inside. Let's see how it is decorated. Oh my goodness. It is decorated perfectly for Korok Forest. <laughs> this is so good. Even the song they're playing is so good. Wow. Not only to decorate your island, but the houses? Crazy. Wow, that's incredible. And then, of course, if we were to go over here to the right, that brings us to, yep, the Spring of Power. Now it's time to go right back to Resident Services and go to Hyrule Castle. Now, I saw those designs a second ago, and they looked incredible. And I'm really excited to go and see this. I can't get over how cute that is. The three apple little puzzle there. That is, that's amazing. I love it so much. Oh, uh, that is so good that they're doing those shrines. And here we are. Wow. And we have that. Oh, I hate these eyes. I love them. They're such a good design, but I can hear that sound. They're like, you know what I'm talking about. I can hear it in my head. The little sound you hear when they're nearby. And we have the guardians here, and I can hear that sound too. That gives me a heart attack every single time. Oh, every time I hear that, just the music design was so good in Breath of the Wild. And the corruption on the ground here underneath me, mm, chef's kiss. That is amazing. And we go up here to Hyrule Castle. Now, Zelda games, Nintendo games always have good music, but the remix here, oh, I'm going to play it now. The remix here, when you enter Hyrule Castle, is so good because you hear the Hyrule melody, you hear Zelda's lullaby and Ganondorf's theme, but you can feel that Princess Zelda is tired by how quiet her part of the music is, like in this part. You can tell she's been fighting for like a hundred years while we've been napping, and it's just next level music design you can feel the the struggle you can see how hard zelda's been fighting for so long oh it's incredible oh look at the little windmill up there with the korok what a good little detail oh that's so cute <laughs> oh i love it and we can go over here and oh that's so good all the guardians everywhere and now we have the house which i guess is just deeper into hyrule castle let's go inside Oh my gosh. This is incredible. Look at the glowy effects on the floor. You see that? A little mist. Oh my goodness. We have that bobble, but that's actually not the bobble. I think that's a grenade. Or not a grenade. A bomb. <laughs> There's no grenades. Um, I think. Where do we even go? I guess we just go in over to the room to the right. Yeah, over here. The kitchen. Oh, that is incredible. And with this, like, theme in the background that I'm playing, this whole place is silent, by the way, so you're not missing anything, but I feel like just having this epic Hyrule Castle theme in the background is just perfect for exploring here. That is so cool. Okay, let's go over to the left. Ooh. Yeah, I remember this room. Oh, that is... There's such good attention to detail here. 
This is so cool. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful room in general. But it just... The chaos. The cobwebs and everything. So good. Okay. Um, let's go downstairs. I have a feeling the room to the front is Ganon. The dungeons. Oh, they even have like the bow in there. Because I know if you go through like the walls at certain points. You can actually... Uh, yeah, there's like a little puzzle here. You go inside one and you blow through the wall. And... Can I get out? There we go. Oh, there's a little Korok here. <laughs> oh, wow. That is epic. I love these little polishing effects showing how dark and gloomy this place is. And now we go upstairs. <gasps> oh my goodness. It's the boss room. I was wrong. Wait, is that... Is that supposed to be Ganon? <laughs> Is that supposed to be Gannett? <laughs> That's amazing. They really were... <laughs> they must have been struggling so hard trying to figure out what to put here. <laughs> they just put that. This is, is this Gannett? This is Ganon without the Triforce of Power, right? <laughs> so I was wrong about the going forward part. So I wonder what I missed. Oh man, I went to the boss room first. Man, I didn't mean to go there first i wanted i thought this was going to be the boss room but i guess that makes sense to fight him you have to go all the way to the top of the castle so whatever let's see what's in here oh oh the library and i remember you could break some of these and go into some secret areas right yeah you could i love that the corruption is on the wall too i love the fog effects that is mind-blowing what an incredible island ah <sighs> That was something else. Oh, the crater's right here. Willow. Oh my goodness. The music. Open your eyes. Link. Link. Open your eyes. I didn't really... I wasn't the biggest fan of Zelda's voice acting in this game, but it wasn't bad. It was just... Sometimes it's, it's awkward. Oh, wait. Wow. There's the Hylian shield right there. And we go back here. Oh, and now, yep. This is the secret entrance, too. Now, I don't know if this is on purpose, but I remember one of the entrances to, like, the basement could be accessed through one of these carts. So maybe that's what it is. And that seems just about it. And it's raining now. <laughs> Perfect timing, I guess. If you liked the video, guys, make sure to give it a like and comment. And if you really want to say thank you for the video and want to see more, hit subscribe because... I haven't uploaded in a while. The algorithm is not really happy with that. As usual, guys, follow the amazing creator. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.